Welcome back guys, Slowback in here, and welcome to episode number four of our legendary Citra Mortal Empires campaign. Right, so RJ pointed out to us in a comment on episode number two that we actually hadn't re recruited our caster. I didn't realize that you could actually do that, right? I, I wrongfully, and I just tell you, voice just broke, I wrongfully assumed that you had to have a building, right? Like every other faction, to recruit priests and stuff like that, but you don't. You don't at all. Oh god, so we're gonna have to obviously recruit, but that's cool because then we can actually get um, The Tomb King one, right? That one. Because last time we had, I think it was death, so we can get this one. Now. It's really what we want. Plus five meal attack for scorpion units. Well, I mean that one's pretty rubbish, so we might as well take that one. We don't have a lot of units that are classified as scorpion units, right? We've only got the two or three. Uh, actually, are they classified as scorpion? Or does it have to have scorpion in the name? Probably has to have scorpion in the name, right? So basically just scorpions? Is that right? Seems a bit useless, actually, if it is. You'd have to have scorpions in the name, right? Which is only scorpions, there's nothing else. Just the tomb scorpions. I thought it might have been those dudes as well, but no. Okay. Alright, uh, did we end up grabbing? Yep, we did. Cool. So he needs to come over again to this army here, right? This dude's having another poke every single time. Actually, is it the same army? Yeah, it is. God damn, it's a good army. Uh, how could that garrison? Uh, it is actually pretty decent as well. Oh, do I pull back another one of these guys or just keep going? That's Citra, right? Yep. Let's just keep going. I'm going to pull this dude back now. Because I don't want to lose, obviously, to this. And it looks like we got past these buggers. So let's pull back over here. Right, so we should be able to take that now. Again, finally. Uh, we'll put these into that, make that a full stack. Actually, we can recruit other stuff here too, right? Yep. Uh, he forced March, he can't recruit, that's right. So that's globals. Uh, I've got three of those coming in, so let's grab three more of those. I'm going to obviously stick him in this main army over here, so we'll not obviously have to knock something out of there, that's fine. Three more turns. Right, so what can we upgrade? Uh, do that for more public order. Gives us an extra uh, carrion as well. Which I don't know if that's worth it or not. Uh, extra growth may be okay. What's this other one? Uh, oh, for the catapults. Hmm, catapults is kind of okay as well. I'd actually probably rather get up to these dudes though. Or at least start this, right? God. Yeah, I don't think we will because I think I'll just upgrade this. Uh, sorry, this. Ah. Uh, no, this. Once we get 5k. So that'll give us those big dudes and some better cavalry. Yeah, we'll do that. So we need 5k, so we're not that far away from... I can't believe I haven't got, like, skeleton archers and stuff up yet. I need to do that. Oh, I'm going to build that over here, aren't I? That's right. That's right, remember now. <laughs> oh, God. I've talked about this in a couple of other videos, but I really need to just focus on, like, one campaign at a time. At the moment, I've got four running. Is that right? This one, Skaven, Dark Elves, uh, Scar Snake. You've got four running at the moment, and obviously recording one of those basically every single day, or every couple of days. There's a different one. I just get lost on where I'm up to and stuff. I really need to just... I know I've talked about this as well, but I need to just finish them all and just do one at a time and do one campaign at a time and actually really focus on getting that one campaign finished. Don't take like three weeks to finish one campaign as in real time. As in for me to record it, don't take three weeks to do it. Get it done in like a few days or a week at the most. Get that out, start another campaign and then you can really focus on one campaign at a time. That's what I need to do. I just don't have the time. I just don't have the time. Although at the moment it's good. Like this is first week back, the kids have gone back to school. I've gone back obviously to work uh, full time as well. But it works a wee bit quieter at the moment so I'm not doing as many hours. So I do actually have extra time this week. But saying that I'm doing... A couple of extra days next week, so yeah, whatever. Hopefully, we can do stuff like that. Oh, yeah, what the hell kind of garrison is that? Three freaking things. 
What the hell? Oh, we just need to occupy it. Uh, port. Get that upgraded because I want to get the archers up here. Dude's leveled. <laughs> Level 6. He's cranking along, fellas. Right, we've got all the jars. I did want to try and get that lightning strikes up, didn't I? Um, public order. Ah, Kizzer replenishment rate. We'll be good. He doesn't have any equipment, I think. No. No, no, no. Okay. That's cool. Right. So, what I'm going to do here is combine these two. So, yeah, that's the better one. Uh, so, I only need six. Got three of those. Yeah, we'll just steal those from you. That makes that a full stack. Of, oh, admittedly, it's rubbish, but it's still a full stack. One, two, three. One, two, three. Get those in. Now, I'm going to bring him over. I'm going to bring this dude down as well. And I want to smash this. Actually, I might just move to my territory because he's still going to be a couple of turns away. Yep, that'd be fine. Ah, uh, commandment as well, available. So... Public order is totally not an issue, is it? Not at all. Local armies plus five melee defense. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, corruption plus two. We're actually at 100% un uh, untainted, so it's fine. Uh, construction costs would be alright, plus a bit of extra tax. Or oh, probably unit experience. Since we will be recruiting quite a bit. That one there is also really good. But I think that unit experience will be better. Does that mean I can recruit an extra dude? No, next turn. Just while we fill out this army, eh? I mean, one rank's not a tremendous amount of difference, but still, it's a rank. I should have left one one of these dudes over here. Because I'm going to just destroy one of these. Ah, uh, doesn't really matter, I guess. Oh, now, is he going to come back and... Tr what I'd hope to do is just shoot down and destroy these guys here with my two armies. Then grab that other army and swing him back up the top. Just the problem is with this province is you're so far away from things. Uh, like one one place is so far away from the other place, you can't defend both at the same time. He's right there, like right just above us. I don't think that main army of ours is strong enough to um, take this place by itself. Miscast base chance minus 8% for all armies. Minus 40 jars. Uh, how about no? How about none of that? Construct one of each of the following buildings. A grave port. Who, who got that? Etc. Okay. Uh, construction cost minus 3% for all buildings in the local province. And income from all buildings plus 3%. Nice. Did I just get that port thing? Oh, i got to get up to that. Oh, that's fine. I'll get it next turn. See, this dude... I want to smash these buggers because they were kicking our ass before. But I don't think he's strong enough to do it by himself because these guys have like tomb... Oh, hang on. These guys have like tomb guards and stuff. Oh, actually, they're weakened now. Oh, actually, I could take that. I can take that with this army. That's force march, so don't don't get too excited. We can't quite get there. It's, uh, do I head straight there? Because he's got to have another army somewhere else, right? Yeah. Oh, if, we, if we get attacked, we get attacked. I didn't actually realise the Black Tower was um, part of this region. I thought it was its own thing. Oh, sorry. That's the Black Pyramid, not the Black Tower. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Ah, uh, well, we want to smash this anyway. Um, and he wants to come up here and get into this army. So smash that, smash that. I don't really care about that. Just get rid of these two little ones. Should, we should take them though, right? I think. Um, yeah, because that's actually a really good garrison now, I think. Like, 
I should stop saying I think. That is a really good garrison. Two catapults are kind of meh, though, aren't they, really? Oh. Worry about that later. So plus one for these guys now. Three, so that's cool. At least until we get that full stacked, right? And then we can um, change over to a different thingy. A different commandment. I don't know if this dude will attack us or if he'll come up here and try and attack that. I kind of want Cetra to deal with him now. Because this dude will kill that. As long as there's no supporting army. Are we finally in a position where we can actually start doing stuff? It's only taken us into the fourth episode to actually have that happen. Yeah, I've got to get back up there. Don't you dare take that, you bastards. I've got to get back up there. God damn it. Well, I've got... Oh. Cetra's closer, but I want the other army to be up there, don't I? Cetra could obviously go back there and defend it. That dude's going to ambush us. Can I move this dude over that way and expose him first? Is this guy going to expose? Himself and end up on a register somewhere? <laughs> oh, that rapey humour, eh? That rapey humour. I think this guy should be able to expose this army, though. Oh, I so want to smash that, but we've got to play this smart. Got to see what else is in that army. Oh, didn't I see research? Nice. Ah, uh, minus eight growth. That's fine. Mission failed. All right. Will he expose that army? Okay, he won't. That's just kind of annoying, isn't it? Oh well, let's get the students to the army. Oh, then he won't be able to move. Ah, God, I don't know how good that army is. I'm just going to try for this. If he intercepts us, so be it. Okay, fine. Right, he's going up there. This dude's coming down here to smash this. Oh, come on now, son. What the crap is going on there? There's no way that's a 50-50. I mean, I realise I've only got tier one again, but... Really now? God. we not lose this. How crap are these tier one? Do they just not account for anything? So just have that one archer. We've got the two um, chariot archers. You know, the two cavalry archers and the other army. That's right. So I need to obviously get the chariot and the cav on top of his dude, and I want the two chariot dudes to be um, killing his range stuff, eh? Uh, is there anything in this army we haven't seen? I don't think there is, alright. Alright, that's fine. Um, I think, yeah, we've seen all the chariots. There's not a heck of a lot of movement there, is there? I'm going to split these and put one on each side. So he can be that way and he can be that way. I'm going to have these two up the guts. And then obviously our bird and support. Oh, he's got two, actually. He's got two um, two archers. That's a bit of a shame. I'll bring this over as well. He's hiding. He's out running. He's out running. Because they would actually, the chariots would actually decimate um, the range guys if we can get them into melee. That's obviously not a guarantee. Get them up there as well. Keep pulling this chariot around since he seems to be continually running away. Just get those guys on attack. It's that um, cavalry that was up here. vision without my birds getting shot to pieces, please. Where's that cab there? Okay. That's the next level cavalry up. It's better than these guys.
Right, bring him in because I want him to shoot that big dude, these guys. It's fine. Oh, doesn't look like he wants to try and stop that. That's okay. Is he going to pull them around or what's he going to do there? These guys. Oh, he moved them. I didn't quite see that. Chariot. Off this cavalry while they're here. Let's bring these guys in. Get you guys away. I don't want to go in there and fight that um, that dude. Please. Right, that's good. Swing them around. That bird go. And that cave. Oh, sorry, that was the cave running in there. Damn it. Oh, no, away from that those hellbergs, please. Good, that's good. I need a bit of vision if I can have it. These guys still shooting, please. Yeah, birds are doing well. I'll get that cave out of there. They seem to be taking a tremendous amount of damage. I oh, can't cave, stay on them. Ah, chariot, sorry, get rid Size one, beautiful. All right, push up. Get us around on them if we can. It's too anti large on that big unit, that's cool. Beauty's still here. Can we jump on top of this? It's breaking or crumbling or whatever. Can we just swing back into them? You're actually ranged. They're coming up to give these guys a hand. Is that mine? No. Other birds are chasing those anyway. Right, nice recharge. Swing back around and go back for those guys. So these guys down here. That's my lord. Get up here and smash this for us. You come over this side, smash that. You guys get in here. These birds are still chasing those ones off. Why are you not fighting anything, mister? How much ammo have we got left? Heaps. Probably better to just chuck those in um, into the combat with this. Right, we killed off those archers up there, that was good. Where's my bats? Oh, they're not bats, they're birds. Okay, get them for us. We lost that cavalry, which is a bit of a shame. So be it. Put a cav. Can we swing them out and around? Get them out and around and hit on the back of these guys, even though they're anti large. Spawn a unit of that, get it over here with the harder stuff. Obviously we've got a lot of troopage on this side, so that's not tremendously worrying. Right, swing them right round. Should be able to hit in the back of that, and it shouldn't be ours. Yeah, that's not ours. I realise that's, um... I should go for them. Go the turn guard first. I, say, I realise that's anti-large, but we should still be able to crush it. Yeah, nice recharge. Give them a few seconds and we'll pull them out again. That's probably good. Pull them back out. He's not fighting. Out, 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 out. Oh, all these guys come here. Um, let's grab a two ranged cavalry, get them to charge in their melee. The melee stats, remember, are exactly the same as these guys. Actually, they're just, just slightly lower, aren't they? In battle. Seem, we seem to have buffs up for this guy. Get in there. Oh, so we're replenishing HP. Yeah, we are. We are. Well, we should be anyway. Let's have a look at this dude if he's regening. No, he's not. So, is that just for the Lord or something? Should be for everybody. I uh, get a charge in on that. 
So this is it not working, that regen thing? It should be regening for everybody, right? Just trying to find to do this from combat. Oh yeah, he's healed a wee bit. Must just be really slow. Don't know what the ticks are like, so it must be really slow. Alright, we're good anyway. Alright, let's fast forward because we'll kill the rest of these off. Obviously. And that's low level lords, probably not that great either. Wow, that was a lot harder. Jesus, man, 124 cows. I'd love to see what was on the other one. Yeah, so it seems like um, a lot of the Tomb King's power actually comes from obviously the bigger units, which is probably right. It's a bit crazy though, eh? Just like how powerful some of them actually are. Oh, okay. Run it anyway. A saddle we get for a sack? Oh man. Oh, it's probably worth occupying it. Spreading our power and stuff. That'll give us, yeah, yeah, it'll give us extra options as far as recruitment goes, right? Yeah, because now I can do two out of four. Uh, no, it's not if I can do any more chariots, though, to be honest. Because that's... We have two chariots, two ranged. Yeah, I don't want any more chariots. Oh, that'd be good. And he's leveled. He can have the jars as well. I like those jars. Ooh. Oh, there's this dude. Right, that's fine. So that means this army here could have dudes as well, right? Uh, do we actually want another chariot or anything in this army? Oh, coming at level 4. I think we'll take that. And. Yes, yeah, so that'll be too careful, though. The care's not amazing. That'll be fine, I think. I want, like, more, like, stronger infantry. He's going up there. Ah, uh, we need to... Oh, I thought we could build that this turn. Oh, it's actually the max. How many turns have we got left before that thing ran out? Doesn't say. Oh, it's a quest. Okay. Um, it's one that we can take our time with. That's fine. So let's get that up and running so we can get some blooming arches. <laughs> Is there a limit on arches or we can just recruit as many as we want? Because some arches would be really nice. Um, I guess we do that. Growth, extra 30. Yeah, yeah, we'll take, we'll take it now. Alright, and research is available as well. Nice. Mm, so it's chariots. Ammunition for chariots. Charge bonus. Yep, okay. Take the chariot one. So as far as like yeah heroes and stuff, do you only get the ability to recruit them by completing quests or something? Is that how that works? Because we had the the quest before. Let's see if it says it up in here. That doesn't. Because obviously there's no building for it, right? You can see that there's no building for it, or at least not from in the ones we can do. Um, it doesn't, I thought it might have been a researchy thing, as like the bonus ones, but it's not. Yeah, something like the hem would be really good, eh? Because those, those are just lords. Leaders of your dynasties and stuff, which makes complete sense when you think about it. 
Yes, it must be quest or something. Can unlock more um, heroes. Okay. Right, well that was a good turn, a good battle. At least we cleaned that out. Yeah, those tomb guards seem really good. We need to get up to that level way. We are kind of really far behind, but hopefully we can claw our way back. See, ideally what we want to do... Oh, they confederate. Ideally what we want to do now is go and hit that uh, black pyramid. Because we did have a quest for it. Or we have to get it back or something. I can't remember what it was, but we do have to get it. I just can't remember exactly what it was. Alright. So... How did he get crypt goals? That's weird. Yeah, it's gonna be a hard fight, isn't it? Ah, uh, we got this ethereal dude though. Come on, we can check him out. I mean, he's not massively high level or anything. Oh, we we definitely need here too. Oh, that's kind of sucks because we don't have a lot of archers. If we had a lot of archers, that would have been awesome to defend there. We've only already got those two. Oh, well, there'll be some in the garrison. Here there is. How many has he got, though? One, two. No, he's only got two as well. In effect, essentially, we've got four. So that's cool. Okay. Well, we could um, obviously get our cavalry and stuff out. Those guys. Uh, and those. Now we'll keep those back and get those ones out and then just choke it up, right? Uh, probably want to lead the way with anti large. Does he have any cavalry or anything? I don't think he does. He does have those dudes though, so yeah, we'll lead the way with anti large infantry. Man, this is going to be a long battle. I have a second line of these guys. I want to look at those ethereals as well. And then a third line, I guess. Actually, we're starting to pull too far back, aren't we? Oh, I may actually put these in their in their respective groups. Then I can push the lines up separately. One, two, and then like these guys will be three. Like that, and get him out of there, obviously. Um, and then we'll grab. Oh, whoops. One, two, and three. Get these guys out. Just get them out of there somewhere. Um, he can cast. Uh, should we put him in the front line or the second? I'll put him in the second line just behind the first. I want to have a look at these guys in a second. Oh, and those guys too. So then archers and the other range guys can go right there. Although then we're going to be outranged, aren't we? Yeah, we probably want archers behind our front line, if we can. So there's six. Put them on guard mode. We might move that front line forward a wee bit as well. What's line two? Why is there only a couple of dudes in there? Why is there only a couple of dudes in there, man? Yeah. Alright. Um. Oh, these guys are from line two, aren't they? There you go. God damn. <laughs> I haven't even set it up like this before. Give me a break. Oh, that guy's a damage dealer as well. 37, 37. I really want line two to be my damage line. Right, let's have a look at these guys. God damn, they look cool. They really do. That's these are the standard version. That's how I see the ethereal. Oh man, that's so cool. That's so cool. And we've kind of seen these guys before, but I'd look at them anyway. Why did I go right into his crotch? Who knows, boys? Who knows? Oh man, they're so wicked. So it's not actually a mask, is it? They're actually like half eagle things, like gods and stuff. Oh, that's crazy. This is so cool. All right, so damage line, right? Damage line, which is basically these three. And it's going to be line two. So current line two can be line 
four, and they need to come out. So line two, which is those guys, are in the same place that the range dudes are, which is fine. And then who are these guys? Just other dudes? Alright, we're going to interweave them in between line one, so that's a really bolstered line one. Alright, cool. Let's go. I spent like forever setting it up, so let's go. Alright, try and get these dudes out. So basically what we're going to try and do is get them to hit... Why did you go funny? Try and get them to hit this front line. Who's obviously like our tank line. Um, and then once that the lines are actually hit, then we're going to push out with um, our damage dealers. So they don't take like any charge damage or anything like that. All right, so the archers need to push them as far forward as possible. And we just want to get all the cav just out and away from the battle. Because then obviously we'll try and swing them back around into the fight itself. Um, actually he can probably go in with the attack group. Or the damage group. And then if we need to, we've got lines 3 and lines 4 as backup. If our front line here just collapses really fast. Cool, all makes sense. That's the plan. I would like to have more range guys, obviously, when we're like bringing them into a choke like this. But we don't have that option. Right, we're going to soak a bit of damage with the initials. That's fine. We do have more damage than them, as remember, as far as right range goes. Because we've got an extra two units. So I put them on guard mode, I did. Nice. Right, we've got three firing, they've only got two. So we're winning the range duel. I wish I had more magic as well. Oh, what's this? It's just on him? Yeah. I oh, actually self and ally? Target self or ally. Okay, that's cool. <gasps> nice target just left those exposed. Right, so that front line's about to hit. Getting ready with our damage line. This side's crumbling actually. Line three. Uh, no, go for line two. Right, buff. That dude. Right, line three needs to get in there as well because apparently the side there just collapsed. Line three, please. Uh, back that up. Back that up. We're about to run these down. So what we're going to do is grab the cave and the cave, and then we're going to grab this chariot and we're going to swing him around into the back of this because those calves should beat that. Now I could pop this to kill heaps of stuff, but it's going to hit me too. So I'm going to try and push him back a bit. Actually, I could have done that and then pushed up with the other line. Uh, I should have done it before, but we'll do it now. Okay, that's going to hurt me too. Actually, it didn't do... Yeah, it hurt me too. I could charge with the chariot. Uh, we're going to buff up. Where's my big dudes? There. My chariot needs to come back out. We summoned in guys over here to protect them. It's annoying. Our archers are still firing. Yep. Chariot needs to get back out. Charge in the back of here. I don't see how we're not absolutely destroying this, to be honest. Killing him. Right, chair it out. Buffs coming in. Let's chuck those on those ethereals. Recharge in there if we can. That was his thingy here. Actually, that's his actual unit of Shabby. Like this one. Um, I need to pull mine out because they actually take quite a bit of damage. There, and they're fighting Halberg, so yeah, definitely get them out of there. I've right, still got our reserves, remember? So, oh, let's do some fighting. All right, let's see if we can go and kill this off while they're over there fighting that. Right, he spawned in his unit of that, I think. Right, 
houses available. Let's get it out over this side. Let's clean that off. Right, I'm going to pop this and then I'm going to charge in with this line. Oh, I see. Right, you guys help them out. Get in here. Oh, you get up in there too then. You come in. You come in. Chariot's done well. You guys are not even fighting. Come on, get in there. Get in there! Right, you charge in the back of this. Oh, what have we got? Buff for that ethereal unit again. Let's keep buffing it up. Seems to be doing well. Extra damage for him. Might as well pop it. It's a chariot charge. Only 64 kills. Our cav is dead. Kill this off. Well, I've lost one of my range dudes actually. Pull them back. I could do be summoned in. Let's get this chariots out. Ideally, it'd probably be better to pull them right through, right? But that's not really working. Crush that. It's the big dudes. Can we get a bit of focus fire on them? Push one of these up and through. Actually, all of them, because those other guys are all but gone. Ah, uh, chariot, please. I ask you to get out. Let's buff up them again. Did that work? Nope. Right, run on that side. Beautiful. Let's push up into here. Okay, might as well get those dudes back in. That chariot is back. That's good. Um, I could pop his AoE damage thing as well again, but I don't think I need to. I don't really want to hurt my guys if I can help. 120 something kills. My god, it's cranking out the damage. Yep, good bit of focus fire there. Uh, he's actually making that retreat. That's good. We out of ammo on them, are we? No? Yeah, here we are. Here we are. Alright. Just get in there and charge that down. No way of sneaking through there, is there? No. They're coming back. It's fine. I'll keep firing on them. I've lost my chariot. So be it. Let's um, keep buffing them up because they seem to be doing really well for us. Take those out. Get him out of there before his kills ours. Get that chariot out. Ah, um, the cavalry out, sorry. Cavalry, where are you? Come on, kill those off for us. How much ammo have we got left? Oh, almost out. Alright, then I mean, recharge in. That. The theories are doing well. My warriors are rallying. Nice. This guy's almost down. Let's keep buffing this dude up. He's cranking out the kills. 152 kills. I'll say he's well above anybody else, I would think. Archers are doing pretty well. We killed off the rest of those Yushabi. That's really good. Uh, he's out of ammo. You're probably out of ammo too. Let's just charge them in there. You skeleton archers have done well. Hell yeah, we need to get some, eh? Stuff like this. If we kill that off, then we've got to surround on that lord. He's actually going down. I think we've got it now, lads. I think we've got it now. Whew, I did say it was going to be a long battle, didn't I? Breaking. I think there shouldn't be a lot of his army left after this because we're actually killing most of them off, right? How much is that guy we've got left? Tim Guard. He's gone, he's gone. There's the route. Nice. Poor, we're going to be hurt as well, though. We are healing ever so slightly. Nice. I wouldn't say that was a fair victory. I'd say we did really, really well there, actually. Yeah, 165 kills, my god. I mean, we were buffing them as well, but still, that's a lot. 
80 kills. I was, well, who, who was the champion for him? I wonder how he's got these um, criticals. It's interesting. Now, 54, 60, 140 on his lord. Okay. Yeah, 116 on um, the tomb guards. I don't understand why they... I guess because they're only fighting tier 1. That's why they are performing really well. Because I'll have a look at their stats again. But I don't think they were all that impressive. I didn't think they were all that impressive. Definitely need... Oh, Jesus. Dead, 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 dead. My god. Great skin's right there too. What's those guys? Are we going to have time to get that um, replenishment back up and running or not? Actually not sure. Ambush. Well, it wasn't really discovered. He attacked us. <laughs> that's not really discovering it, man. Oh, replenish troops. God, that's a good ability to have. Oh, everybody's full anyway. Um... Oh, get that bat back, thank you. Oh, we can get the carrion bird back. Not a bat. Can't grab that dude again. It's two turns though to get that one. Oh, how far away are those archers? Another turn. Very unfriendly. Okay. He's definitely attacking us, isn't he? I was gonna say I'll just wait and grab the um grab the archers, but no, we won't be able to. Um, he's gonna have care. That's the problem. And screen skin care is pretty good. Ah, oh, yeah. All right. Hopefully we can get that up. Hopefully the garrison's um improve. Oh, there she is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is it? And I think it's what we had. Hopefully that garrison improves a bit before we actually get attacked. Right, so I guess we want to go here, but he may be just going to destroy us as well. Uh, should we go look first? Well, let's at least go to our border. No, he doesn't have anything there. Cool, alright, we'll go and take that. Right, now you. Do I want the chariots in this army? Yeah, I guess so. I was wondering why um, I couldn't actually recruit, but it's because... Um, it's because this dude up here is recruiting them, so it's fine. Grab those and that. Unless I'm skill point, who leveled? Alright, Lord. I want to have a look at this dude as well, the caster. See what kind of spells there actually is there. Uh, attend me. Oh, plus one experience for all local recruits. Nice. Uh, right, so I'm going to have to redo this then, because those guys all just got a free level. Alright, so him. I do want a chariot for his. I don't have any chariots. I get the ranged chariots, I suppose. Yeah, okay. What? Is this dude that she just. Yeah, no, it's fine. Ranged chariots is fine. You can always check on a bit nearly as well. Um, cave, that'll be two cave, two ranged chariots. And yeah, okay, and one of those dudes. So I'm going to redo this guy as well. Oh, was it not for him? I thought it said local province. Plus one experience for local province. Is that not what it said? Plus one for all recruits. Ah, oh, for him. Unit experience was for... Oh, yeah, okay. Sorry, it was the other part that said local province. Alright, I understand. Ah, uh, but we, we did actually get an extra recruiting slot. Yeah, we've got four now. Nice. That's good. Uh, and oh, I want to have a look at this dude. 
So that's all just like stock standard stuff, right? Replenish troops and all that type of stuff. Right, so what's his things? That's buffs and spells and such. Uh, so that's basically what my lord's got. Oh, so it's the same as my lord. I see one of these casters as well. I guess he is. Ah, uh, that's a heal. Nice. Uh, physical resistance. Whoa. Up to 44%. That's missile damage. That's a lot. And that one is... Oh, I bet you can only pick one of those, can't you? Yeah. Direct damage. Causes damage to combatants. High chance opponents will resist damage. That's so an AoE. Okay. For a single target. And then it'll be you can pick one of these too. Or vortexy. I think probably uh Oh, it's only active if he's casting. Okay, well we're definitely gonna get that. And I think probably the damage, honestly. That's probably the way we'll go. With him? Okay, cool. Let's um Let's go. Next turn. Yeah, I mean the buffs and stuff would be pretty awesome too, but just that healing I think would be better. I knew you would attack us, the bastard. Uh it's gonna be the same map. We just still have two range, we've still got the four. We're basically gonna have to play it the same way we just did. Only problem is of course, Greenskin's infantry is a lot better than Tomb King's infantry. And those cavalry of his are actually anti infantry as well, so that's not great. Right. Same as what we did last time, fellas. These guys aren't there to do damage, they're just there to hold. Oh, actually, we're missing one of our archers. Damn. So we've got that double... That double damage out of these guys. Ah, uh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Double spell damage. Yep, yeah, nice. Alright, so we want him and him's damage. Oh, I don't have the big dudes either. That kind of sucks. Alright. Uh, that's our damage line. It's actually there too. You guys can be like nine, doesn't matter, you're just ranged. And then our supporting line. I'm actually going to just do this one, just as a one liner. I'm making them real thick because I don't. There's no artillery or anything. No, I just want these guys to survive. Well, basically, these guys and my ranged guys do all the damage. Alright, we've got the bird as well. Our birds as well, so that's really helpful. These two cab are just going to get destroyed. We'll try the same thing. We'll try and pull them out, um, out and around. See if we can just get him to ignore them, and then jump the birds and stuff on top of his range. Give ourselves a decent range advantage. Yep. Okay. Right. Let's fast forward it so we get over here because again we're not going to be really moving. Just pull that line up as well. Alright, so it's savages. Alright, normal speed please. At least those big ones actually. Don't really want to be shooting all fours, please. Big and shoot those. Alright, he did ignore us. Oh, it's not even like Grimgore or anything. That's good. King of Henry. Dive on that. We also chase that, that's fine. Right. Damage dudes go. Should have done that too. Oh, could do that now, maybe. Okay, there. I'm happy with them to chase those. Oh, there, booty. Alright, it's buffed. Boots up. Sacrifice 
Get that Lord as well. No, don't dive, please, don't dive. Because there's still one down there. Damn, there is. Now there's not, because he died. That was terrible. Broke, that's the ethereals. Alright, let's go kill him. He get Kira's weapon. Um, our front one's still kind of holding up. Let's get him out of there. Minus armor on all of that stuff, it's fine. Let's buff this dude up. Take that, buff that dude up. Right, let's push in our second infantry line. Only got the two this time. Are doing really well. I'll just turn these and get them to set up that way for us. There we go, we're smashing that lord now. <laughs> Had to pull mine out this dude out because he's getting hammered. Uh, these guys aren't on guard mode, that's a mistake. Make sure they're on guard mode slight. Shoot that cave. I oh, don't die. Don't die, don't die. Get him out of there. Right, you keep pushing. Yeah, you can skirmish your way. We've got this now, easy. Yeah, those theories won't take much damage, not from savages. Get up in there, come some more cave. Doesn't really matter anymore. Everything else is pretty much gone. Let's see if we can chase that dude. So remember, Greenskins in general don't have a way to deal with Ethereal units, so obviously having that Ethereal unit, and it's a very high damage Ethereal unit, um, it's going to be really good for us against them. Oh, don't freaking die, mister! Go get him. Keep him alive, or else if he dies, it takes us eight turns to get him back, oh, damn it! Oh, no! I was hoping to get out of there with one alive. Oh, that would be so good. Whatever. Why haven't you routed yet? Make sure this dude doesn't die. Come on, route for God's sake. Alright, yeah, bastards. Alright, we'll just fast forward it. Because they've definitely got it. Nice. Nice hold though. Pretty easy when we've got like a big choke point like that to work with. Oh, I definitely want to get some archers up and running. Man. So handy to have. Ah, uh, never. <laughs> Just blow them up, that's right. That Lord's not gone, man. I thought we would have chased him off there. Run, Skulkers! There's heaps of dudes coming. There, now he broke. Nice. Very good. Shit, 139. Oh, that's not even the Ethereal one, is it? Did I lose the Ethereal one? No, that's them. That's them. Yeah, 139. I don't have a normal version of that. That's from the garrison. Oh, I can't believe I lost them again. I think I've had them for like one battle every single time and then I just lose them. That sucks. Oh, at least we'll get a few, um... A, a bit of experience and stuff out of that, I was going to say. Um, and then we should... That shouldn't have stopped our recruiting, so we should have to get that up and running as well. Which is awesome, obviously. Uh, we will take the jars. So I can just feel that this place is just going to be non-stop bombarded from the north, right? 
So we may need to have a um, unit, uh, not a unit, an army there the whole time. I'm kind of thinking this third army that we've got, we might push north with that. That could, that'll obviously be one way of stopping them from um, continually attacking us and stuff like that. So uh, th we're going to wrap up at the end of this episode, at the end of this turn, I should say. Mainly because I really need to go to the toilet. <laughs> Uh, a lot of tracks here. Uh, yep. If you give it. Ah, uh, no, we won't even ask for money. Okay. Come on, I was being nice. Just wanted that. Just wanted one thing, mister. Yeah, it's hard, isn't it? Right, cool. Nothing else happened. Alright guys, that's where we're going to wrap up this episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.